Hey there, English speaker. What's up? Jesse here from Sweet Academy, helping you get to that next level in your English. And today, I want to share two of my least favorite, actually my most hated words in the English language, really in any language. Least favorite, most hated. Least favorite, most hated. Least favorite, most hated. Which one sounds stronger to you? Most hated. Most hated sounds stronger, and it is. And these are the two most hated words in the English language. I'm not talking about fuck or shit or nigger or faggot. None of those. Those are contextual and and separate. I mean, two truly disgusting words that should be taken out of the dictionary. And those are can't and impossible. Can't and impossible. Can't, impossible. Anyway, these are two words that I hear a lot, a lot more than I should. And people seem to use them so flippantly. To use something flippantly means to use it easily, often, with no real meaning, just whenever you want, flippantly flippantly and I want to get rid of these words I hate them they make me cringe every time that I hear them every time that I hear a student say or anybody say I can't do something it makes me cringe anytime I hear somebody say something is impossible it makes me cringe and it makes me a little bit sad in my heart because well, there's a quote by Henry Ford, and I really like it. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. That's to say, if you think you can't do something, you're right. You can't do it. But if you think you can do something, then you'll figure out a way to do it, won't you? And you've probably had times like this in your life. So I don't just want to tell you the words that I hate, but I also want to tell you ways if you're going to take those out of your vocabulary to replace them with something else. So instead of saying you can't do something or something is impossible, what if you replace that with how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Say it with me. How am I going to do this? Again, how am I going to do this? How am I? Let's break it apart. How am I? How am I going to do this? 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 Or how can I do this? How can I do this? How can I figure this out? How can I figure this out? All of these are fantastic options and alternatives to I can't. It's impossible. Oh, I can't do this. I can't because blah, 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 blah. There are excuses. There are excuses all the time. There are excuses for everything, aren't there? Anything that you've accomplished in your life Think back of something that you've accomplished in your life. And I bet that you could have found excuses to not do that thing and to not finish that project and why that project was difficult and why that project was impossible, right? So instead of saying I can't, if you're a student of mine, I don't wanna hear you can't do something. I don't want to hear something is impossible, ever. If you're a friend of mine, I don't want to hear something is impossible. I don't want to hear you can't do something. If you're just writing in the comments below, I don't want you to write it's impossible or you can't do something. <clears throat> I think that just opened it up for people to say that they can't do things.
But then that'll be on sarcasm. So that actually means the opposite. So I gotcha. So to sum up, replace, take out from your vocabulary, never say again, you can't, or something is impossible. And put in, how can I? How can I? How can I figure this out? How can I do this? How am I gonna do this? And see the change. And it's gotta change in here, but if you change it just with your mouth, you don't even have to believe it at first. That's the crazy thing. You don't have to believe it at first. You don't have to change your heart, change your mind immediately. Just say those words when you're faced with that situation. Just say those words and then try step by step to figure your way through it and see the change that it makes and see if it makes a difference. So that's my tip for today. Visit my blog on Sweet Academy and check out some fun stories from my life and lessons that I teach you through those to learn vocabulary, expressions, idioms, and, and grammar, natural, useful grammar that I use in my stories, and I encourage you to use it in your stories. Consider supporting, consider becoming a member, and let's study together and get your English to the next level. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like this type of video, then click the subscribe button and the bell, and also check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.